Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a great day. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing my painting process for a still life arrangement in watercolor. Still life art is something that I've been drawn to since pretty much the beginning of my artistic journey. I think there's something beautiful in acknowledging the importance and the interesting aspects that everyday common objects around us have. And there's just something very comforting for me about sitting down and focusing on simple objects that we often take for granted that we're always going to have or that we can easily replace um, and making time to render them in my own way and bring out their beauty in my own way. And I think that currently, as we're all going through this crazy, uncertain time together, staying mindful and being grateful for what we have is just so very important. So yeah, I was inspired to work on this more complete still life composition because I've definitely painted objects lately, but it's been a while since I last painted a complete still life arrangement. And I have to say that I really enjoyed this. And I really wanted to share this painting process in hopes that it'll hopefully inspire some of you out there. Before talking a little bit about the watercolor painting supplies that I used for this piece, I wanna send out a huge warm welcome to all of you new people just visiting my channel today for the very first time. I am so, so happy that you found my channel and do consider subscribing because every single week I share new videos with art tips, drawing and painting tutorials and encouragement for aspiring artists. All right, so in terms of the painting supplies that I used to create this piece, I used Arches Cold Press 140 pound watercolor paper. For my paint, I used six different colors from my Windsor & Newton Cotman Line half pan set. And these colors were Lemon Yellow, Cadmium Red, Burnt Sienna, Cerulean Blue, Indigo, and Van Dyke Brown. In terms of my paintbrushes, I used two rounds in sizes 12 and 14 from my Royal and Langnickel Zen Line watercolor brushes. And I also brought in one larger mop brush from Princeton in size six. I knew that that one was gonna be super handy in allowing me to pre-wet larger areas with clean water before actually starting to drop in the pigment because that mop brush is able to hold a lot of water and paint in its bristles. To tape my watercolor paper down onto my green cutting mat, which is what I use as a backup board when I am painting with watercolor, I use regular old masking tape. The only thing I make sure to do before taping my paper down is I run my pieces of masking tape over my clothes a couple of times and I also make sure to remove it at a 45 degree angle very slowly at the end. Now, I've never had trouble with ripping or damaging my Arches 140 pound watercolor paper when I do this. However, I have noticed that when I use other kinds of watercolor paper that are perhaps thinner, sometimes I do damage them a bit if I'm not very, very careful. For the most part, I try to stay away from using watercolor paper that is lower or thinner than 140 pounds. For my absorbent towels, which I feel are absolutely necessary to have on hand when you're painting with watercolor, I love using my Blue Scott Shop towels that I buy via Amazon. Um, I love that they are reusable and they just last a very long time without having to throw them away and get another one. Of course, for your absorbent towel, you can just use regular old kitchen paper towels. Throughout my painting process, I am constantly removing excess water from my paintbrush bristles by either very gently scraping them along the top of my jar of water or gently blotting them on my absorbent towel. And my absorbent towel is also super handy because it allows me to very quickly go in and absorb any excess paint or water that I might have accidentally placed on my watercolor paper, and also to create little effects and add more dimension to flat areas. Aside from those supplies, I've also been getting questions on my paint mixing palette. Um, I bought it via Amazon and all of these supplies I actually buy via Amazon or via Blick.com. I love this ceramic paint mixing palette because the wells are very deep. It actually has uh, steeper walls and so your color mixtures stay within those areas. They don't get mixed together and I can really stay away from muddy colors. 
and I can really make sure that my colors are gonna be nice and vibrant at the end. Links to all of these different items are gonna be down below for you in the description box of this video in case you wanna go and check them out. All right, so before leaving you with the rest of this time lapse, I wanna send out a huge thank you and a huge shout out to my Patreon community members. You guys are so amazing. I am so lucky and so grateful that you are part of my innermost community and it's because of you guys that I'm able to share these videos and keep creating helpful blog posts to share in my YouTube channel and to share on my website. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so, so much to Edith, Amy, Angie, Betty, BG, Carol, Chris, Christina, Cynthia, David, Debbie, Destiny, Frank, Glenn, Howard, Ian, Jackie, Jane, Josh, Kelsey, Linda, Marion, Marsha, Michelle, Pamela, Paul, Peggy, Rebecca Nicole, Ricky, Rose, Sarah, Sharon, Shirley, Stephanie, Stephen, Suzanne, Teresa, Thais, Trisha, Valerie, and Vicky. Thank you guys so, so much.
Thank you.
All right, everyone, that is it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that you found it helpful. And if you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up because it really helps support the work that I'm doing here on YouTube and allows more people to get to know about my channel. If you have any questions or comments for me, make sure to leave them down below in the comment section. I always love hearing from you and I always read every single one of your comments. Thank you so very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe because I share new videos every single week. Have a beautiful rest of the day and stay inspired. Bye guys!